Would y'all rather be stuck in a car with somebody for eight hours, but they smell really, really badly? Or be stuck in an elevator with somebody for eight hours, but they continuously talk to you and they're annoying as hell. What would y'all choose? No, you can't get out of the car. No, you can't escape through the escape hatch in the elevator. Also for the car, you can't turn on the radio. No AC ventilation, like it's just off. Elevator is in a situation where it's like stuck and y'all waiting on the fire department. Let me know. <laughs> What's good, hooligans? It's your boy, Tony McCray, back at it again with another video. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Friday. Hope y'all are happy that I'm here to bring you more content and to bring you something to brighten up your day. You know, it's it's Friday. I like to bring you a little laughs and fun and jokes to the weekend. And there's nothing different here. So today, y'all know the deal. Y'all know how we get down. Another try not to laugh challenge with your boy. So it's time for a little bit of fun. This week, we're doing a try not to laugh challenge with the show that... I'm gonna age myself here, but if you know, you know. We're gonna go up against Duckman today. Sweet. Totally. I remember Duckman as a child, but I didn't watch, watch Duckman like that. I missed out. I know I missed out. I've seen clips of it here and there, but I do remember it. I don't know why I didn't watch it back then. Probably due to my parents or something. I don't know. Cause I know my parents were like hesitant on me watching Family Guy for a little minute, but I was still watching that, but but the boondocks was cool. Weird contradictions. Anywho, getting into it, guys. For those of you who are new here, who don't know, hey, welcome. There are cookies in the back, and there's Capri Suns on the side. The hooligans will show you how we're having a good time. But here are my rules and how I get down. First of all, if you've never seen a Try Not to Laugh challenge on YouTube, as I say every other video, don't know how you haven't. If you haven't even seen any of mine at this point, because I've done, this is 25. So I've done 25 of these. You have 25. 24 others you can go watch check them out however you may not have seen them so here are the rules i have we saw our lives uno dos tres love these bad boys love them to death if i lose all three of these bad boys i lose the game simple concept now some of you may be asking hey how do you lose your lives and what are your rules i got you rule number one as it simply states in the video I can not laugh. Wah ha 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 ha! Can't do it. Well, just you know, that's that's just blatant. Rule number two: I cannot walk out of frame of this camera. Stars, can't do it. Not today. So that makes sense pretty much. And rule number three: I cannot cover my mouth like Pooh Shiesty and hide my mouth from your view because if I do that, I could be laughing and that's cheating so i ain't gonna do that to y'all however there is a caveat i can't hold my breath i can do that that is not laughing to me that is holding back a laugh see what i'm saying so now that you know those are the rules no further introductions are needed and let's go ahead and get on into the video baby actually I do got one thing. If you're new here and you enjoy this content or you've enjoyed this intro, you might have seen some of my shorts or anything like that, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button right there at the bottom, bro. Join the hooligan family. Hey, we got cookies in the back, Capri Suns on the side. We're here for a good time and you're going to have a blast. I promise. Just go ahead and join. It's going to take you two seconds, bro. And if you join now, you get a complimentary Clementine on the house. I'm, I'm just saying, bro. Everybody loves a good Clementine. But enough of me speaking and enough of me talking. On to the show! Ah, good morrow, gentle Vic. I think it was the poet Yeats who said, Morning has broken the first blackbird in the dead of night. Talk about blank verse. It's from the big book of psychotic nonsense. Ow. Yes, sir. I'm here and you'll never have to worry about money again because you will receive one thousand dollars! Oh yeah! I can't wait! Bruh. I remember as a kid that seemed like so much money. A thousand dollars now as an adult is like ten dollars. You ain't never left! You ain't never left! Like yeah, it's, it, it, it'll get you some stuff. But you can blow through that bitch so quick! Damn. That, that kind of hurt my soul just now. Damn. Oh, man, I miss them days. Hey, yeah. Uh, why does it say $200,000 here? Wait. Oh, uh, that's Latin. 200 is uh, Latin for one. Careful, duck man. You what? know art has always been a fast-talking, deeply cynical, and completely amoral manipula- Infidel! How dare you confuse duck man with your blasphemy! Du 
yelling at a yelling at a man saying infidel is wild. Don't listen to him. Go for it. Oops, sorry, Connie. You made a good argument, but he said go for it. That's what people in the movie say when they're about to do something really successful. Yeah. Whoa! Hey, yo, what? Why you got to say nasty shit, Ray? Cause I'm a nasty motherfucker. This is a badass kid. Thank you, Mr. Bailey. Your wonderful show tunes must have caused the civilized part of our consciousness to assert control over our temporarily altered genetic structures. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Well, I'm just thankful that you two came through this little incident unharmed. Because it gives me the opportunity to do this. Oh! Damn! What y'all doing if somebody looking at y'all like this? Like just staring into your soul. I just want to know. Oh, hell no! Nah. This is certainly awkward. Mo, how could you? Me? You did it yourself. Every time I think you can't get stupider, you always surprise me. I'm gonna love staying here and torturing you. I only wish I didn't have to get cancer to do it. Hey, when wow. you first got here, you said it was your heart. Now it's cancer? You've been lying this whole time? Ah! All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's incredible. She's wonderful. She's the most beautiful antichrist I've ever seen. What? Look, she put a napkin in her lap. Yeah, she still draws a bit. Well, that aside, oh. she looks like a million dollars. And I only paid 150. Hey! What? You didn't say that. Tell me, you did not just say that. Yo, what? Oh, that's gold. She looks like a million dollars and I only paid 150. Hey, you. That's wild. You, you do. I'm very glad to meet you all. She talks! And to think a few days ago, I was happy because she could write a name on the wall with her own feces. But when I write my name on the wall with my own feces, I'm being naughty. What to do? This show is wild. What to do? Yesterday, I used you as a living dartboard. The day before, I tossed you in the trash compactor. Perhaps I would make one teensy-weensy bite-sized suggestion. Elliot, you're a man child after my own heart. Hey! They think I've tortured them before. When do they experience the horrors of my digestive system? Maybe I wasn't ready for this show as a kid. What? Where is everybody? They've all been stricken with mad cow disease! Attention viewers, this joke was written in spring 1996. Ah! Damn! Damn! 
There never was a surprise party, Duckman. I ran around town buying food and party favors and inviting all your friends. When threatened with litigation, if I actually referred to any of them as your friends, I spent the rest of the day making balloon animals. Want to see a wildebeest? You know what I like about you? The way you say whatever you think, no matter how stupid it is. You're definitely your own man. Thanks. You know what I like about you? Yeah, my legs. <laughs> now that's not true. I also like that you have really big breasts. And I like that I can see almost all of them every time you lean forward. And I like your tight round butt. And I don't know if it's that lipstick or what, but your mouth is making me really hot. And your legs are too. Oh, you freaky bitch! Oh my god! Ladies, I want to know, how would you feel if a man was that honest with you? How would you respond if the guy you're talking to has given you green flags so far, responded to you like that? I'm curious, bro. Put him in the comment section. I really want to know. I feel like if she likes you, you might be able to get away with that. But if she doesn't like you or does not find you attractive, you immediately getting hit with a harassment accusation, bro. Immediately. Cause I ain't gonna lie, that's some out of pocket sh City boy, city boy. About her and enjoy our family time together. She knew nothing about being part of a family, so we'll just leave her right out of our family plans, right? Wow. And if we all, as a family, pretend she's not in the family, then that becomes, in and of itself, a family thing for a family to do, right, family? That don't make no sense. Did you ever hear a word so many times that after a while it seemed to lose all meaning? Oh, sure. Uh, no. Stop. Get out. Uh, how dare you? Excuse me, I'm Catholic. I'm a man. Hey, Duckman, what the f*** you been on, dog? You know I kiss my pimp and all. Oh. The hell? Hey, yo, what is this James Brown looking ass <laughs> right? Oh, wow. Bro, they gave him this strong ass chin, these broad ass shoulders, the pompadour. Oh, wow. Why y'all do James like this? Good dog, duck man. Uh, give yourself up. Duck man. Uh, give yourself up. Man, duck man. Uh, give yourself up. Makes a strong case, but I don't know. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> James Brown telling you to give yourself up is a strong case for you to surrender. Oh, wow, that. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Two lives to go. Let's get it. Dad, there you are. Looking just like after you read my report cards. Ooh. I see you now and I remember the times we had. The moments we shared. Tender words. A hug. The touch of your hand on mine. And I know those moments aren't really gone. They'll live forever in my mind and in my heart. So, can I get the stiff to go? Wow. Hey, yo! Freaky ass n He's a 69 god. Whoa! -ho -ho. These are remains to be seen. Angelic face, flaxen hair, muscular thighs, pouty lips, and a pair of leaf and lawn sized cinch sacks. What a corpus delectable! Just imagining her chalk outline makes my gantry gush, makes my beef jerky, makes my pita boil, makes my raja mud, makes. Uh, Duck Man, I hate to break it to you, but she's not dead. <sighs> Can't the denial, Corny, especially if it interferes with my wordplay. Remember that she and her tawny buttocks have gone to a better place. So now let's get her to an even better place my basement. Oh, there's. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I said, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Hey, 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 Duck Man. Chill. I want to get started while she's still poseable. Oh. You tobacco thugs may take away our freedom, but remember that nobody, nobody can take away our dignity. Listen to the chains sing their happy chain song. Do dee do 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 dee dee dum dum be bop ba da squida. <laughs> <laughs> my, my 
make it across <laughs> my... Hey, a mento. This guy. Oh, I just aged myself because I know these commercials. Look at yourself, old man. You got multiple chins cause you're old. Did you, um, ever have any romantic feelings for me? More than likely. But for me to be interested in a woman, my only requirement is that she have legs and a pulse. And I even waved those in New Orleans last year. <laughs> Police! Help! Police! Help! Another one. The necrophilia. Like, what the hell? Oh, hell no. And why Why New Orleans got to catch that stray? Oh, duck man, duck man, duck man. <laughs> Whoa. This wild boy. One life to go. Let's get it. Dime. This stranger gave me a dime. This stranger gave me a dime. <laughs> Damn. Reminds me of that trip in Tijuana back in 86. Huh? Is this country grand or what? We got money, friends, money, success, money, money, and money. I told you everything was gonna work out in the new world. And money! Oh, my hot, nasty, sexy baby. Hmm. That's what my mother used to call me. Nigga, what? Sorry you had to see that, kids. You deserve it. I only wish all homeless people were as nice as you. And then everyone would want to be homeless. Damn, I must have missed one. Uh, I said, uh, cram, unjust, math, piston. Uh-huh. Are you having a stroke? I haven't decided yet. 5,000 hours? That's 45 minutes! Actually, it's about hmm? seven months. What? Damn metric system. You can't just give up! Ye gods! It's TV legend and star of Welcome Back, Carter, Ron Horshag Palillo! There. You Ooh. see, Kardashian? Compassion, forgiveness, generosity. These are the things that make humans unique throughout the universe. Also, cosmetic surgery. <gasps> the fact. That was Rob Kardashian. And he ends it with cosmetic surgery. And we know what we know now about the Kardashians. That joke aged so well. Thank you. Oh my God. That joke aged perfectly. Perf. Chef's kiss. That is a top tier joke sent me to get you out of here and to assure you that he will do anything, anything at all, to clear you. He'll admit the break-in was all his idea? Absolutely fucking not. Shorty, you should have known that wasn't gonna happen. Alright guys, well, y'all saw, I didn't lose the last life, so your boy's still undefeated for this Try Not To Laugh Challenge. <laughs> I know I might not have seemed like I was that engaged into it, but I was laughing a lot on the inside and y'all just weren't gonna see it. I'm gonna go back and watch Duckman now. It's in the long list of shit I gotta watch along with all the animes I gotta watch and all this, that, and the third. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell at the bottom because you know it helps my algorithm as your auntie's favorite neighbor. You just gotta know when I'm putting out these videos. Next, let's continue on this road. 500 subscribers, we're at 420 right now, 80 to go, bro. Share it with your friends, share it with your family. Let's go on and get this crack into 500, baby. I love all of you hooligans. Come on now. And comment below, what was your favorite joke in this video? What did y'all think about Duckman? Hell, 
Do y'all have any other shows that I need to watch that I probably that might have slipped through the cracks that I should do a try not to laugh challenge in response to? Because at the end of the day, what do I know? I'm just a skinny brother with two tats. Peace. Much love to all y'all. I'm out, baby.